I was moving from Los Angeles to New York, driving across the country, and I stayed one night in St. George, Utah at my cousin Danny's. Now Danny's not a Mormon, but he lives in Utah, so he knows all things Mormon. And this was 2006, and he said, I just saw on a blog that the South Park guys and the guy from Avenue Q are writing a musical about Mormons. You have to go to New York and be in this. And I said, well, you know, I don't just show up to New York and they hand out musicals, parts, you know, wherever, wherever you go. But uh, I said, that's great. I mean, that's gonna be brilliant. I think Team America was, should have won the Pulitzer Prize. This is awesome. I'm glad they're doing this. Well, a year into living in New York, I got a call from my agent saying, I just got this weird call asking if you would be a part of a week-long reading. The South Park guys wrote something, but I don't even have details of what it, I was like, yes! I remember him telling the story of that, how a friend called him and said, you know, they're looking for really, really white guys. I mean, and that's Mormonism. They're looking for really, really white guys. <laughs> I happen to be one of the whitest guys in America, so of course they need white Mormon boys, they're gonna look at me and they said, well, this guy has red hair, so we need a redhead. And I just can't believe that I'm in this position right now because my head shot, my hair looks extra red in it or something, you know? It's amazing how things work, but you know, it's all about being in the right place at the right time and, and having your cousin Danny scoop you on what musicals are out there.